Hey, what's up, you awesome dudes? Grace here, and we are back in Omen Sky with a brand new guide. Today, we're going to go over everything you need to know about creating, managing, and using a fleet. If you want to become a better fleet commander, this is going to be the video for you. So, uh, currently, I'm on a new playthrough. I've started this one up so I can showcase the entirety of this feature from the start to finish. I just got this brand new freighter. So, let's jump right in in my ship, and as soon as you purchase your first freighter you're also going to get one free frigate with it so in this case i got this c class over here that i can immediately send into expeditions though it's not going to be that great it's only one of them and generally speaking you will want at least a few of these before even sending them into expeditions so let's go inside and actually see some of the things that i need to keep in mind before proceeding and i'm going to start with the first one and that is this npc over here or your fleet commander this is the first npc you'll want to talk to and as soon as you talk to him he will give you a short little mission to go and build one fleet command room and eventually you can even build multiple of these and it's important to do that because the more of these rooms you have the more expeditions you will be able to create so just to give you an example i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to build a second fleet command room so now i'll be able to send to expeditions but of course I will need enough frigates in order to do that so once you do that you're just going to have to go back to the NPC talk to him again and he will now have his functionality opened and that is of course the fleet missions or the new expeditions and you can even go ahead and check out what you have exactly in my case since we're in the beginning of the game our fleet is not that strong I will generally have very low star rating missions that aren't really that difficult nor do they provide any combat so we have voyage of discovery balanced expedition so nothing combat related but you can definitely spawn with that as well and you will need combat frigates as well so you can see here that they have a difficulty rating one star being the lowest and five being the highest in the beginning one two three stars is what you will typically have it also tells you the duration and the duration depends on how far away that expedition is so if it's like four thousand light years away it's going to take a few hours for your fleet to reach it and it will also require more fuel in this case it requires to have a hundred tons but if I were to assign it to a different one which is much closer and the duration is much lower for example this one if I assign it over there as you can see it's only going to require 50 tons and the more frigates I put into this expedition up to the maximum of five the more tons it will cost and on top of that we also have the upgrade modules over which I'll go in just a bit these are uh, temporary items you can use with your current expedition to give certain bonuses but how do you get these items in the first place well here is where the freighter research terminal comes into play and uh, you will need salvage frigate modules from the very beginning with the frigate fuel all the way up to these freighter warp reactors you will need a lot of salvage frigates um, by the way before proceeding for some reason all of these cost 300 salvage modules each I believe this is an oversight or maybe a bug so we do expect for these to get nerfed at some point I believe 300 for one of these is kind of absurd for the benefits that you actually get but anyway let's go over the other ones so I have unlocked the frigate fuel using the salvage frigate modules the best way to get these is to simply attack NPC frigates and get these salvage modules from them you will get like five in ten minutes easily and in order to build one of these you will require tritium as well as the hydrogen you can get 50 ton frigate fuels 100 all the way up to 200 so i'm going to unlock a few of these these are temporary upgrades that as i was saying you can apply to each of the expeditions as you can see all of them require some items in order to be built in the case of the fuel oxidizer quad servo and walker brain these drop from sentinels more specifically the quad sentinel and the huge bipedal one and the rest can pretty much be bought from any space station especially the cobalt mirror and the sodium diode even though you can get the blueprints for them and actually craft them to go over a full breakdown of what each and every single one of these products do starting with the fuel oxidizer this decreases the duration of your expeditions by 10% for each fuel oxidizer that you use the 
explosive drones increase the combat capabilities of your fleet by about 10%, again best used in combat missions. The holographic analyzer increase the exploration capabilities of your fleet by 10%, so this is best used in for example exploration missions. The mind control increases your trade capabilities for 10%, this is best used in trading expeditions and for trading vessels. And finally the mineral compressor boosts your industrial capabilities by 10%. So each and every single one of these items increase certain areas of your fleet by 10% and yes, you can stack three of them at the same time and they will give you all the necessary boosts up to 30% for the three maximum items that you can use, but you can also mix and match them however you want to and depending on your expedition. And there it is, sending it into the expedition and once I go to my actual fleet control room, I can see it over here, I can even debrief it, see what happens in real time and I can actually even travel to the system this frigate is in and help it physically or manually. You can see that by the distinctive color and the icon next to the system and if there's anything broken in it, once it comes back I can manually repair everything, but I'm going to do that once that is done. If I were to have a lot more than this, so for example if I had more frigates, I would even be able to send a secondary one from the NPC over there and see it here and even debrief it. So uh, I don't have that, that's why I'm going to go ahead and purchase more frigates. So let's go ahead and do just that, there's a bunch of NPC frigates over here and they are actually very easy to purchase. You can randomly find them in any system as long as you see an NPC fleet just go to it and you can even see the prompts over there on the screen telling you that you can purchase them, inspect it and uh, it's all random from here on. This is another C-Class, it costs 1.5 million, otherwise you don't have to worry too much about it, even if you find a C-Class, a B or an A, don't pay too much attention to it because once you get these and send them into expedition, they will level up and as you send them into more expeditions, they will level up up to the maximum of S-Class and this is probably my favorite feature about the fleet in general. What I recommend you guys over here to do is to get a balanced fleet, so don't don't always go for random frigates, try to have a balanced number of frigates that excel in certain areas. Every now and then, after purchasing a few of these, check where you are lacking. If you're lacking in combat, exploration, industrial or trade, buy the ones that you are missing. Anyway, after doing all of that, you should start seeing all of the frigates that you just purchased coming here to your freighter and that is when you can start actually sending them into multiple expeditions so let's go ahead and do that and also show you a few things to keep in mind when sending these into expeditions because you will want to have specialized groups that can excel in any area of the game or throughout any situation that might arise. So a few other potential expeditions here that we have is Voyage of Discovery so I'm going to send a couple of exploration ones to give you a small tip over here, you should probably always have a support vessel in your fleet no matter what because these are very good at reducing your fuel costs for the current expedition. Otherwise, all of the other vessels are pretty self-explanatory, so combat vessels for combat missions, exploration vessels for exploration missions, trade and industrial for trade and industrial missions and in balanced expeditions you will want a nice selection of each and every single one of these because balanced expedition provide a randomly generated combination of these four roles. But once I set up a whole fleet like this, as you can see it even tells me underneath the fleet rating. So generally speaking fleet ratings should be equal or above difficulty rating to increase your success as much as possible. But now that these frigates have been sent into missions and they are pretty much on a cooldown, let's go to my other save game and go ahead and check out what happens once they come back and what types of items you can get. So in this case as you can see I have two of these sent into missions and I'm pretty sure that they should be back right now. So it also gives me a log which I find very interesting, so it tells me they've collected 9 Gravitino Balls, more Gravitino Balls, units, 391,000, that is how you're gonna make a ton of money, a whole bunch of stuff that you will get from these. And there's a second one over here as well, um, the red one means that it got damaged, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, repair this in just a little bit. Anyway, as we send the other frigates, let's go over the ones that actually got damaged. So in this case, it seems that only this one is. 
It's a little bit hard to navigate if you have a full fleet. The more you have, the harder it becomes. And if you get close to it, it will even show you an icon that it is damaged. And I will mark those damaged parts and simply travel to them and repair them. In this case, there's a whole bunch of them. So let's just go. And these are actually really easy. These are just the terminals that I need to do. And uh, they will require, in many cases, just silver. I don't think I have seen any of these to require any other material outside of silver so just have a lot of that at hand and with that I believe we have repaired the entirety of the ship and you will even have the prompt over there on the left corner of the screen and that pretty much covers everything you need to know about fleets in general about how to get them but that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did a thumbs up on it would be super appreciated also don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell and I will see you guys next time so peace out